Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. This will be my first week reviewing the highly requested Soultanicals in my B.O.B. 123 series. That's black owned brand only, three wash day reviews, three styles, three company and or founder facts per video. Just this past Saturday, I did release an ingredients review video for this brand. So take a look at that after this one if you haven't done so already. And if you're liking my B.O.B. 123 series and my ingredient reviews and the content that I'm bringing you every week, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Fact one, Soul Tanical was created by Ao Ogun, a mother of six. Fact two, Honey is no longer an ingredient in their products as noted on their website. I couldn't figure out explicitly why this is, but it might be because they are calling their products all vegan. And a lot of people say that honey is not vegan. I haven't looked into this, so I don't know if that's technically true, but just to be 100% vegan, I assume that is why they're taking out the honey. And if I get a final answer to this, I will update it in a pinned comment on this video. Number three, like most, if not all of the products that I have been reviewing, these products are fully handmade. I'm gonna go rinse out my pre-poo and I'll be back with the shampoo. Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo. I can't believe I'm finally getting to Sultanicals. So let's see what these products are all about and what the rave is all about. So this is a lot creamier and runnier than I was expecting, although I don't really know what I was expecting. I either really, really, really like the smell or I don't particularly like it. It kind of smells like buttered rice. I don't know, it has an interesting smell. I'm not really sure if I can place it. Forget I said buttered rice because I don't know that it actually makes sense. It's a pleasant enough smell. It's a pleasant enough smell. And it's a shampoo, so who cares? Ah, it's thicker than it looks. Okay. Sticky. It looks sticky and look at that. It's a very interesting texture. Slather a generous amount of butter shampoo onto strands. Work with both hands into a mild lather and massage onto hair and scalp underneath. Rinse with cool water. I'm not doing that and proceed with your hair care routine. I don't, I don't do cold water. I've gotten so used to using shampoos that come with spouts that I feel a little bit, this is really slippery. Wait, is it? Or was my hair really well detangled from my pre-poo? I can't tell yet. Worth mentioning, I mentioned it in my last video that my hair was feeling very like ultra elastic from, I don't know, just, I guess, too many moisturizing wash days. I no longer have my routine where I protein treatment once a month because of the reviews that I've been doing. So I was a little bit concerned and wondering if I was gonna have to maybe take a break from my series to do just an offline, offline is that I won't record it, protein treatment and then come back and continue because I hear that Toltanicals products are really, really moisturizing. But I was trying to figure out what I could do from like the pre-poo step to solve this problem. And I decided last minute to use the Bo Peep Aria Strengthening Deep Conditioner just to see if that could work. And if it didn't work, then I was probably gonna take a break next week and do a protein treatment. But as I was rinsing out the pre-poo, or pre-poo deep conditioner, I noticed that the elastic feeling has largely gone. Like last week, what you just saw, maybe you didn't see it. When I was separating here and I got like, and you get something like this, last week I would do it and it would just stretch so much. Like it would just like, be like an accordion, just pulling out a strand hair. Okay, that's the miracles of shed hair. Um, yeah, it felt like I was just like separating and it was just like branching out like an accordion. I noticed as I was rinsing out my hair that that wasn't happening. So I'm wondering if that did, okay, I'm feeling a little bit of it now, but definitely a lot less than I felt last week. So I might do this again next week as my pre-poo and hopefully that will solve the problem. I'm also glad that I'm using this rice shampoo because I assume it's made, well, it says it's made with fermented rice grains, biotin and MSM. Biotin and MSM are like near the bottom of the ingredient list, but regardless, it's in there and we've got the rice. So I'm hoping that this works to strengthen my hair and I don't have to take a break and um, devote an entire wash day. But sorry, what do I think about this? Um, so, it's kind of laying on like a deep conditioner. As you can see that it's kind of sitting on my strands. Um, I would say it's actually not particularly slippery. I think my hair was just well detangled from my deep conditioner. It's definitely not stripping, not, not at all stripping, but I don't know if I would say that it's moisturizing. I'm gonna take a little bit more. They did say generous. I think this is more than enough. I think this might be a little bit dramatic. 
It's a smooth shampoo. And okay, it has slip. I have been using more borderline clarifying shampoos recently. So in comparison to those, I would definitely say that this is not stripping. It's allowing me to detangle, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily detangling. If it cleans my scalp, and this is the experience I get applying it, I would say this is a pretty good shampoo. I like it. It's got some nice curl definition in there too, which could also be from the strengthening pre-poo that I did. So let's just keep that in, let's just keep that in mind. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse this section out and I'll come back with the deep conditioner and then I'll finish the rest of my hair off camera. Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask. This is made with a whole bunch of Ayurvedic ingredients and superfoods and it has in clay. So this has a lot of strengthening properties. So I'm hoping between that and my pre-poo, my hair should be reset. I've never seen a review on this one, so I have no idea what to expect. And sorry, before I move on, the shampoo didn't leave my hair particularly soft. I was expecting it to. So um, yeah, that was interesting. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, my hair still looks clean and it doesn't feel rough or anything like that or stripped, but it was just an interesting observation. Here's what it looks like. Doesn't smell great. I think it smells pretty bad. Second opinion? Don't like it? No. I can't tell what it smells like, but it smells, I don't want to say it smells chemical. It smells like something from the recesses of the earth. Hopefully the styling products smell good. Okay, so it's a bit thick. Not the thickest deep conditioner I have felt, but definitely not thin. I am gonna get this on my scalp a little bit because it does say it's a, does it say it's a scalp healer? Healthy scalp hair mask. So I assume if it gets on my scalp, that's not an issue. It's slippery and it smells a little bit better now that it's in my hair. Maybe closer to the surface of the earth. I am gonna put it a little bit on my scalp as mentioned because it does have in clay and clay as we know is great for your scalp. Okay, so yeah, it's slippery. It's a pretty heavy product. It's weighing on my strands. I wouldn't say yet that it's particularly moisturizing. And also just to, to note, on the instructions, they say that you can leave it on for 20 minutes, recommended with heat, or overnight. That's a very, that's a very wide uh, range they've got there. I put on way too much. I'm gonna sit under my hooded dryer for 30 minutes because I am trying to wrap up, I put on way too much. I'm trying to wrap up my wash day before dinner again because I've done that the last three weeks and it's been phenomenal. If you're new versus my usually finishing my hair around 2 a.m. because I have to break up my process so much. Let's, let's do a quick um, comb test now that I do somewhat use a wide tooth comb. Okay, so sticking that into the roots. Let's see. Okay. When I feel resistance, I back out. And then I finger detangle the rest. I like to detangle my hair under warm running water. So that was really just to see what the slip was like. I'm going to wrap this up and go shampoo. Got all that product. I have way too much product. I'm actually going to squeeze some of that out. Oops. Got a little bit overzealous there, right? And I guess I'll be back when it's all in so you can see what it looks like so we can get an idea of the shrinkage. Deep conditioner is applied <laughs> heavily throughout. All right, so it's been about 35 minutes. I think that's the least time I've ever deep conditioned. We got some shrinkage, but honestly, I don't actually remember what it looked like like 30 minutes ago. My hair feels good. It feels, it feels really good. It doesn't feel the best it's ever felt, but I would say it's definitely moisturized and feels, it, it feels good. My hair does not feel elastic and weird like it did last week, so I'm glad to see that. I'm gonna go and resection my hair and rinse out the products and I'll be back. Okay. 
Marula Muru Moisture Guru. I have only heard amazing things about this product, so let's see. It smells kind of like cacao, which I don't see in the ingredient list, so that's interesting. Okay, it smells good. I wouldn't say the smell of any of these products is much to write home about. This is very thick. Oh, and I don't think I remember to mention this a couple steps back at this point, but the consistency of the Sprout Vitamin C Butter Shampoo, it reminds me of a thick Elmer's glue. Okay, this has really good slip. Very good, very good slip. I don't wanna run my comb through it, but it feels good. It doesn't smell like cacao. Maybe like a marshmallow? Not at all the same, I realize that. If you've been watching my videos though, you can probably tell at this point that I'm not good at detailing what things smell like. Half the time what I say doesn't make any sense. Cacao and marshmallow both make sense, but not for me to flip from one to the other. All right, I'm gonna go and rinse out the rest of the deep conditioner, apply the leave-in, and I will be back for styling. Can't believe it's not butter. It has a strong smell, but again, I can't tell what it smells like. And when you get too close to it, it does smell a bit strong. I don't love it, it's okay. So I am gonna be going back to my regular twist out. I know that I mentioned that I might transition my twist out, my week one twist out into a week one flat twist out. But to be fair, I find it really annoying to do flat twists. I really have to work on it. I do think it's a better set, it gives you better results, but it's more of a tedious process for me. So. I don't know, maybe I'll do week three flat twist outs until I perfect that and then I'll move it to week one and then I'll figure out something else for week three. All right, so. Mommy, you have to look at this. I'm looking at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, back from the video. Don't hurt yourself. I am recently trying to do bigger sections so it doesn't take me what feels like 17 hours, which is just a little bit over an hour. I'm trying to not take massively long to do my hair every week. So the sections are getting a little bit bigger, but they're still gonna be pretty small. And again, this is the time at which I would have felt that weird elastic thing and I'm not feeling it. I felt one strand do that, but all in all, this feels good again. So my hair feels good, the products are working. Thought I was gonna be runny, but it's not. It's pretty thick, but I don't think it's as thick as the leave-in conditioner, or the thing that I use as a leave-in conditioner. The Marulu, Marula Moisture, oh wow. Okay, this so far has been the only product to wow me. And I was expecting all of the products to wow me the way that people talk about Sultanicals, so. But wow, this is, it's softening, it's slippery, it just feels good. It feels buttery. Is this the, I can't believe it's not butter? So that's good. And then I'm gonna go in with the Bloom Super Potent Healthy Hair Growth Oil as a sealant. Annoying. Um, how do I get in here? I already took off the thing. Is there a hole there? These containers are giving me grief recently. It's not coming out. I don't wanna pour it, so. Oof, that doesn't smell good. <laughs> Don't stick your nose in there. But it's smoothing, which is something. I'm wondering what my hair is gonna smell like at the end of this wash day. <laughs> and then turn this baby into a twist. Very gently on the ends. No hair. All right, gonna twirl the ends and pin it to the roots. And that is to maintain my coil. I'm gonna go do the rest off camera and I'll be back when it's all in. I'm fed up with how long it takes to set my hair. It's every week. It took a little over an hour like it usually does. I didn't pin up this side of my hair because frankly, I just wanted to finish. And that's just extra time, it's an extra step. These products, really, uh, they're really thick. So don't make the mistake that I did. I used way too much. I didn't use a lot, 
but because they're so thick that I think they're going to take a little bit of time to penetrate or they're going to flake. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see. And um, towards the end, I think in the front, I didn't even end up using too much of this because the leave-in conditioner, or not the leave-in conditioner, what was it? The, um, the Marula Muru Moisture Guru that I used as a leave-in conditioner was just still kind of sitting on top of my strands. I think it would have been easier if I had waited the one to two hours for it to penetrate and dry a little, not dry, but like, so it was more damp than wet. I did use my microfiber to like wring out my hair a little bit before I did each section, but yeah, as you can see, it's a lot of, it's a lot of product caking. I'll be back when my hair is dry. It is two days later and I'm actually really intrigued to see what my hair ends up looking like. So let us see. I did put some of the oil in here because I, I don't think there is a hole there, which isn't useful. It came with this, which suggests that it prevents leakage, but there's just no hole. So I guess I'm gonna poke a hole, but I haven't done that yet. So I had this lying around, lubricate my fingers. My hair feels really good, I would say. My twists feel among the best that they have felt before. Definitely better than my favorite wash day, interestingly enough, because I still find it weird that those products together just didn't um, do my hair right that week. I would be interested to know in the comments below, since so many people do absolutely swear by this brand, what are your favorites? And I'm curious to know if you have tried and loved any of the products that I used in this particular wash day. I don't know how helpful it is for you when I take out one on camera. Where is it? It's back here. I guess this is the one that I took out. These are out. Let me just go off camera and take all of these out and I'll be back pre-separation. Pre-separation, as you can see, it turned out pretty much like a flat twist. I'm not really sure how that happened, but not mad at it. I'm gonna go and separate, but not too much because I actually kind of like the way it looks right now. All right, so I did some separations and I think this twist out looks really great. My hair feels good. It doesn't feel amazing, but it feels good and I'm interested to see my thoughts over the next two weeks. I definitely think they did a great job. I'm not wowed, but maybe I will be weeks two and three. I don't know. And let's see how the moisture holds. But yeah, my hair feels really good. It's not as shiny as it has been, but it's pretty shiny. It's got some great definition and, you know, solid wash day. That brings me to the end of this video. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, like, comment, and share, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks and have a good one.